In this video, I'm going to show you how the owner agent can take on GitHub issues, create subtasks and break down the issue itself, provide status updates, and ultimately complete the task autonomously in its own secure development environment. Let's get started. Environments in Gitpod are based on a dev container configuration. What I'm going to do now is actually ask owner to update my dev container with the GitHub CLI feature, which is a one line change to my dev container, and then update my setup script so that I'm authenticated with the GitHub CLI. As we can see, Owner has the ability to create its own secure and isolated development environment. It's then able to operate inside of that dev environment to read things like files and make changes. If we look further down, we can see the agent has made the edits to the dev container JSON file and also updated the setup script. If we need to, we can also open up the details view and view the dev container logs as they're building in case there's any errors that we want to also report back to the agent. I'm going to go into my repository. I'm going to create an issue for unit tests. I'm going to instruct owner to go to our GitHub issue tracker and start to work on the first issue that it finds. Owner will be instructed to create subtasks and to push those back to GitHub so that I can easily monitor and check the progress as owner completes the task. As instructed, owner is also updating the main task with the subtasks so that we can easily track progress. We can now see this commented on the top of the main issue. Owner has completed the entire task and closed out all of the different sub issues. It's given me a detailed summary report of what the different tests are that it's added, as well as closed out all of those other related GitHub issues. I can ask owner to commit and push to the repository so that I can open a pull request and review the changes, or I can go back inside of owner and actually launch and jump into the dev environment with a desktop editor like VS Code, Cursor, or Windsurf, or I can even directly review the code inside of Gitpod using VS Code in the browser, where I can quickly look at the agent's changes, make quick edits, updates, and suggestions, or ask owner to complete another task. Importantly, everything we've seen here today happens securely inside of my own network. The development environment was happening within my own VPC and everything is secure with a full audit trail should I need it. Thank you very much.